YouTube, what's going on? It's outside Drew, but inside right now. Um, the Knicks. Well, we uh, traded Obi Toppin for two draft picks, two future second round draft picks. Um, I don't, I don't like that personally. And um, we signed. Dante, excuse me for mispronouncing his last name, um, Dante DeVencio, or DeVencio, pardon me, excuse me, <laughs> um, I get it, I get it, it's Villanova, it's chemistry, um, you know, Josh Hart, he came through last season, gave us a big jump. Um, I believe he's one of the reasons why we made it, you know, to the second round, the playoffs. Um, but there's so much he could do. Now, the Knicks let go Obi. Now we got Dante. We're stuck with Q Grimes for another year. Um, Q Grimes, I believe he's going to start again, unfortunately. He's going to start. Um, I say unfortunately because I feel, I still feel he's not, I'm not saying the dude can't bowl, but I feel he's just not, He's not really. Uh, he's still. He still gotta get his weight up. I, no. It, he gotta get his weight up, but I still feel he doesn't fit right due to Tibbs' system. That's just my opinion on Q Grimes. So Q Grimes gonna start with Brunson. Um, and I think what's going to happen is now quickly wants a bag. See, quickly, you know, this is this is the end of his third year. Next year will be his fourth year. He wants a bag. He wants nine figures, bro. You ain't worth no nine figures. You can ball. You good. You nice. You know, but you pretty much worth what Dante is getting. Uh, four year. <coughs> excuse me, four year, fifty mil. Since you've been putting in that work, I ain't going to front. Um, you played like a real six man of the year this, this season that just passed. I would say a four-year, 70-odd mil. You know what I'm saying? Third, you know, after the, after the third year, your fourth year could be optional if you want to make a move or so a G. Um, I, um, I think... Their lineup is going to be just how it was last season. Like I said, Brunson, Q Grimes, um, RJ, Randall, and uh, Mitchell. Now, Josh Hart, he's reaching out to Mikael Bridges, telling him to pull up. That's kind of a little slight disrespect to, you know, RJ Barrett, personally. Because Barrett and Mikael, they're both small forwards. Um, I personally would rather have Mikel than what's his name Barrett. Um, you know, that's just me. Yeah, they're all Villanova, but my man, you know, Mikel Bridges, he does his thing and he plays defense. Now, saying Barrett don't, he gained his weight up, but Mikel, you know, he's that guy. Um, but. That's going to be your starting five. Then your rotation. Let's say quickly. Do stay up quickly. Dante. I want that to say about this trade. At least we'll have a backup two. A backup off the ball guard. And unfortunately, Hart. Hart is only six foot four. And from what I'm seeing, they're going to have Hart play the wing. Hart is going to be that glue dude slash 
wing. He's going to be the guy that's going to guard from, from you know, from, from the three to the one. And he's going to do a little this, a little that. He's one of them type of dudes. Now they need a stretch four because Obi is gone. Summer League is coming up. Um, now, Summer League is coming up. Um, I don't know. Something is telling me. Something is telling me. The way how things go. I mean, it's still early in free agency. This is only the second day. Um, I think they may try to pick up a stretch four out of the summer league. Whoever really, whoever, you know, performs good, you know, they could be in that rotation. Remember, uh, we had uh, this dude, um, what's his name? Copeland. Mark Copeland, I believe was his name. The guy with the dreads. He was a stretch four, small forward. He had a jump shot. He had a J. The Knicks, the Knicks let, they let him walk. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, we need a stretch for uh, Isaiah Heightenson. Um, he's still with us. I don't know if they're going to keep him for another year or if they're going to try to move him. Like I said, we could, you know, Isaiah Heightenson, he's tolerable, but we could, we could do better personally. But he's tolerable. You know, he hustles and does little things here and there. Um, so, yeah. So, that's my take on it. Um, Obi Top him. You know, I'm, I'm happy for him. Um, now, I know a couple guys from Indiana got moved. Um, let's see how, you know, he'll perform with Indiana. Um, I don't know if he'll start or I don't know if he'll come off the bench. Something's telling me he might come off the bench. I don't know. But he just wants playing time and he wants, he wants playing, he wants respect. That's one. He wants playing time and two, he wants to be used right, which I respect, um, which I understand. You know, so I hope all is well with Obi Top and I'm definitely going to keep tabs on him. It's upcoming season. And, uh, yeah, man, that's what it is. But, yo, I'm going to say probably, I'm going to say about Monday, Monday, I'm going to do a big NBA free agency, my overall take. Um, I like what I like what Houston Rockets did. I really do. They're adding some vets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that. Um, so, yeah, but I'm going to give, maybe, maybe I might Maybe later on tonight I might do a vlog on that. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, Dante, man, welcome, welcome to NY, man. Hopefully, you know, hopefully you can really ho hold it down for us. You know, um, chemistry is everything. You know, Kenny Smith said it. Kenny the Jet Smith said it a while back. That's how they won, you know, a couple chips in Houston. It's the chemistry. You know, chemistry, chemistry is their thing. Chemistry, trust, knowing each other, knowing each other game. You know? Yeah. So that's my take. But, yo, it's outside, Drew, but inside right now. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll holler back at y'all. Like I said, tonight, yeah, tonight I'm going to talk about Houston. I'm going to talk about Houston. But after that, like I said, Monday, be on the lookout. I'm going to do a big, long take on NBA free agency. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on who won and who. Eh, we shall see. All right, y'all.